Welcome to the session number three of performative drawing. And now we are going to draw something with what we mentioned last at the last session, and it was related to the relation of the organic form and the machine actually to the relation of the social determination and the structural determination of the class. So we came to this interesting position of the machine and the organic being. And when we think this, uh, those relations of the machine and the organic being, I would say there are like two types of relation. There is a um, the relation of the symbiosis, which help machine to, to, to reproduce. And there is also a, some kind of relation of oppression, which also helps machine to reproduce, but in the same time, it is uh, practically a kind of obstacle for the machine. So, when we think about those two relations, and you know that uh, performative drawing is about uh, how to draw the relations and not about how to draw objects or some creatures in that in another sense, but more through relations, then we should think about those two contrasts, those two different positions, two different relations with the machine. And uh, we can think the machine in different forms. We can think uh, the machine in the, in the contemporary kind of rhizomatic or artificial intelligent form. Uh, or we can think the machine in the more traditional way of representations. Uh, like the most, doesn't, in the traditional form of representations. So they are like different, different types of machines which are which we have today, and um, they are all they are all uh, there. I mean, it's uh, it's not that they are they, that they have been gone from the historical uh, scene in the world. So we now try to imagine uh, those two relations what I was mentioning, and we will try to use zoomorphic idea of different creatures and now I am trying to to imagine this repression mode or oppression and the another side is a symbiosis And those symbiosis is more related to this contemporary machine which has kind of big data or artificial intelligence focus. But this is not the most important aspect which we want to explain. Here is actually more important to understand those two relations, both relations that we that there exist and how those relations are actually uh, mutually beneficial or how they can, you know, like mutually between each other communicate on different scale. So this is obviously going into very complicated direction because this uh, zoomorphic being is practically squeezed in this machine and we will see how this squeezing situation is here changing the machine's um, behavior or the behavior of this of this animal, organic being, let's call it organic being, it's not animal or some animal which exists or some animal we, we, which we know, but uh, more something that we want to draw. But I imagined here that this animal has nice shoes and those shoes are 
you know, shoes which are nice and they can wear it in the beach or somewhere, you know, it's very nice shoes. And never mind, there is a repression, but there is also some kind of, you know, shoes kind of situation and this animal is um, not uh, so... Um, um, it's not that it's going to die or something. No, it is this, you know, relation of the uh, of the oppression and uh, and organic being is also some kind of symbiotic situation. But of course, it's different than the symbiosis which exists here, which is more, you know, symbiotic. And how to represent? How to show this difference? You know, we will see. We will maybe use this nice, very nice red and try to show a kind of flowers, you know, a flowers inside of the machine. It's like, this is what we have today. Those organic forms, which we don't understand as a machine uh, elements, but rather as something which is opposing the machine, are now integrated in the nature of the machine that we have today. And, um, this is exactly the situation that we try to to draw this symbiotic relation as opposed to this oppression that we have and we will see how this can work out so there is uh, also uh, some kind of vertical the element of it and the end it is some kind of ventilator that can move in different directions and here is only moving in one direction it goes like this okay now maybe with yellow we can change some aspects of this and give give some kind of um, some kind of uh, live liveliness of this element of this flower that we have here but in the same time it must be also very gentle and to have more gentleness I think we need to to dry it a bit and to use this paper just to dry it and to make more abstract situation because this symbiosis is very abstract this symbiosis is it is harmonic but it is very abstract it is not so rude this symbiosis is something which is um, on a one scale um, it looks like harmonic, it looks like this machine is a part of this organic uh, body, they work together, they are like in symbiotic relation, but in the same time it is after. And uh, this is more clear here, it is oppression and it is more clear. So I want to explain something before we start to draw, and this is very important now to understand. Before we start to draw, uh, I want to express these two different aspects. One is more abstract but more symbiotic. And another one is more clear but more oppressive. Let's do that. goes like this. We know this element from before, from the session number two, when we involved this element. And this element is now going into the body directly. It is going into the body of this friend here that we call We call zoomorphic being uh, 
and this element here is continuing and it's going like this it's penetrating into the body but here it's even more exposed so the body is practically squeezed absolutely with this and then we have these slippers, these shoes and slippers we use for beach. So there is a certain relaxing moment. With, because without this relaxing moment, this oppression would not be possible. So this op oppression needs also a very clear relaxing moment. And we are trying to think this through this nice shoes that can be like shoes for the beach like sports shoes or slippers or flip, even flip-flops so so this is this is actually what is going on and now we are approaching to very nice situation of almost being finished with this explicit situation is it like explicit for you i hope it is and a uh, few legs are here just trying to to be out and here we have it okay let's see what we have done just few accents okay it looks quite explicit and I hope that this oppression between the zoomorphic being and the machine is very explicit and it's clear. Now we go to the symbiotic part. It should be abstract, it should be more friendly, it should be rather nice. And we said it has kind of flower moment. We need nice faces. Which are almost like tulpen, like tulips. And they are friendly connected with the rhizomatic symbiosis. I hope you are following well what I'm doing now and it's very important to to see how we are, we are going to finish it here because some here it needs to be very gently done like this Very nice. It's a pure like flower kind of situation that goes directly into the machine because this machine and organic form is something which is very nicely connected in this one. And here we have also one like this. And finally, the best one, or the biggest one. It's a 
pure flower kind of relation. With a lot of data processing moments with common table for big data processing and other possibilities for the operations which are unknown and which can give us a new knowledge and then completely new usage of the machine. So, so we are slowly coming to the end of this session and uh, I'm just looking what I could, what we could actually add here to be more precise. Let's take a look once again. Some narrative elements can always be nice, can always bring some uh, different layers of understanding and, and uh, meditati meditation of, of, this, uh, of this topic that we are now discussing. And I think we are slowly approaching to the end and I hope that you actually enjoyed this session and that you can see this difference that we have between these two relations of the organic being and the machine, pressure and the symbiosis and I hope that this can lead us to understand what is the other aspect of this relation. Thank you very much and let's try to draw something completely different in the session number four. I hope you will enjoy the next session.